Hello, fourth grade. This is Mrs. Roach here, and I'll be teaching your reading lesson for today's lesson for reading. We're going to be working on the skills Head Together, which is a skill you are working on from our last story, Amelia's Road, and from the story, My Man Blue. Head Together is a strategy that we use for students to group up with one another and discuss their collaborative thinking, focusing, and contributing on their group's efforts to get a better understanding of the text. Now we're unable to physically do this activity together as a heads together. So I will be addressing saying heads together and all I want you to do is think about what you would say if you had your partner there with you today. We'll be making inferencing. Making inferencing is what you do to make inferences. You go beyond what the author's words has given to you and you try to understand what the text is saying by the amount of clues that the author has given you. We'll be doing this for our story, Pepe the Lamplighter, and it's written by Elisa Bartone and it's illustrated by Ted Lewin. You may have already started your story and you, today and you should have already listened to it yesterday. I want you to make sure that you're reading the story every day so you can do a good performance on your vocab test and your comprehension test when you do them on Friday. This is the cover to Pepe the Lamplighter. It's a story that takes place in New York City in the late 1800s. At that time, many families moved from countries like Italy to the United States. We call this migration, and this is a great connection to what we were learning in social studies last week when we were working on migration, the pushes and the pull factors that make someone want to leave their country or wants to make them move to another. So we learned about Pepe and his family is from Italy and they moved to the United States and they moved because they want to have better living conditions. They are known as immigrants. Immigrants are people who move from one place to another. And we learned that when someone moves to the United States, they might have difficulty or challenges that they face when they move to a new country. When we do this as strategy heads together, I want you to listen to the question and I want you to think about an answer that you would say and share with your neighbor if they were there. I will be doing a lot of pauses for you that you can think about your answer so you can act like you are sharing it with your partner. My first question is, what challenges do you think families might face when they move from one country to another? If you have a hard time thinking about a reasoning, think about your social studies unit and the pushes and pulls. Think about those factors. Why would someone move away from the country? Why would someone move to their country, to a new country? Something I would say is that a pull or a push Pool might be they can have better job opportunities by moving to another place. A Something that they might find as challenging might be if they're from another country, chances are English is not their first language, so language barriers could be an issue for them. Another one could be close family members. Maybe some, not all their family members can move in with them. Or move with them at that time. Good. We're going to move on to the next portion of our lesson. And that is called using clues for making inferences in our story, Pepe the Lamplighter. I have three quotes that came from the story. And each quote comes with a different emotion that Pepe is feeling from that story. Remember, Pepe is, about a, is Pepe is a story of a little boy who's trying to find a job, and the job that he finds is be, as a lamplighter, and that he has struggles and challenges that he faces as he took on the job. So you have to read the story to know your answer. So make sure you go back and listen to the story. The first section, the first quote says, Pepe tugged gently on Asanta's hair and smiled at them, but he did not really feel like smiling. What emotion do you think Pepe is feeling at the time of this quote?
Emotions could be he's happy, excited, worried, sad, melancholy. What would you say if you were to share with your partners and heads together? I would say he is upset. Pepe is smiling, but it doesn't seem like it's genuine because in that second part of the sentence, he didn't feel like smiling. So it sounds like he's putting an effort in to smile because his sister Santa is there and he's trying to make her happy, not let her worry about how he's actually feeling. And this is at the time when his father says that he's not happy with the job that he got as a lamplighter. He can do so much better. So I would say he was sad. My next quote is, Pepe just lowered his eyes and didn't answer. And from then on, he rushed through the lightings of the lamp, sometimes forgetting which was which. What would you say is the emotion that he is feeling? An emotion I would say that he is feeling is that he is maybe forgetful, maybe he is worried. I would say he's forgetful because he's forget he doesn't remember which one was which that he lit it. I also see that he's worried because Pepe just lowered his eyes and didn't answer. This came in when his father said that his job was not a good job and his father didn't like the job that he took it, had taken for himself. So it doesn't seem like he's proud of his job at the moment because his father is disappointed in him. So I'd also say he's upset. So I feel three emotions. My last quote, as Pepe walked, he held his head up and his eyes were bright again. What feeling of emotion do you think Pepe is feeling? I would say Pepe feels proud because he's holding his head up high. I would also say he's happy because his eyes were bright, which sounds like someone who would be happy if their eyes were bright. The next thing I want to talk about is theme. I want to show you the theme anchor chart and we can go over that real quick and then we'll try to come up with a conclusion of what we think the theme is for our story Pepe the Lamplighter. Here is a theme anchor chart so we can review over it before we start thinking what we think the theme is for our story Pepe in the, as the Lamplighter. Theme. Theme is the message of the story. It is what you learn from in this story that you can apply to real life. So it's what the audience, the entire audience would take away as a lesson from that story. What do you think the theme is in Pepe the light Lamplighter that the author wants us to think about? As you come up with the theme, ask this question. What can we learn from Pepe's story that we might be able to apply in our own life? You're going to put your heads together, so think about what you would share with your neighbor if they were there with you. Maybe you said you think the theme of the story is that you should be proud of what you do no matter what anybody else thinks, even if it's your dad. Another one you could come up with is you learn that every job is important. Another theme that could come to you as the audience is you learn that you should be thankful for anything a person does to help you. All those are really good themes and they do apply to our story. A story can have more than one theme. It is what we apply to our real life that we can learn as the reader. That is what theme is. That is the end of our lesson. If you have again not listened to your story, Pepe the Lamplighter, then please go back to our section where you can read it as in the slides, or you can listen to the, the read out loud that I have provided for you too. All right, guys, 
I hope you have a good day of distance learning and happy learning here at Aspen Creek. Have a great day. Bye.